After the Second World War, German boy soldiers held captive in Denmark are being trained to clear landmines. Denmark, after the Second World War, German boy soldiers held captive are sent to dismantle the mines laid by the German army. Sergeant Karl, who is full of hatred towards the German army, is the commander in charge of about 10 boy soldiers. The boy soldiers, forced into the minefields with their bare hands without any protective gear, start to find mines and remove the detonators. Thereafter, they live an inhuman life, suffering from confinement and starvation. The boy soldiers, looking even more ill, still continue to dismantle the mines. The only thing to be done for the one who is in pain after losing both arms is giving injections to relieve the pain and moving him to the hospital in the command center. To the boys who become sick after stealing and eating rat droppings from nearby farmhouses due to hunger, seawater is fed to make them vomit and food is provided after stealing from the command center. In extreme circumstances where one mistake can lead to death, the boy soldier's work to return home continues. <laughs> Ernst, who lost his twin brother, Werner, loses his mind. Sergeant Carl opens his heart little by little as he sees innocent children being forced into the minefield and sacrificed one by one. However, an unexpected accident happens. The movie Land of Mine is based on the true story of German boy soldiers captured by the Danish army after World War II to dismantle landmines buried on the west coast. Despite numerous films with the backdrop of World War II, the story of mine dismantling on a Danish beach is not so well known to the public as it has been taboo in modern Danish history. Although there were more casualties during the five months of mine dismantling than the five years of the German occupation of Denmark during World War II, the history remains a painful one, forgotten in every actor's heart. Carl goes on a long journey as he takes charge of these boy soldiers. To him, Germans are an object of anger and contempt. Carl is a person who symbolizes the magnitude and depth of hatred of the Danes by brutally assaulting the Nazi remnants for holding the Danish flag. As expected, Carl strongly and painfully pressures them. But Carl is also human. He cannot simply enjoy the suffering of children that he lives with every day unless he is a psychopath. As such, Land of Mine talks about the justice of revenge that may be considered simple. The extreme tension and suspense arising from the task of dismantling mines that do not allow even an error of a single millimeter comes brilliantly alive, and the movie contains the ironic true story of perpetrators and victims being swapped as the German boy soldiers clean up the remains of the Nazis. Through the faces of teenage soldiers who were not properly trained for military service, the movie presents a deep impression of the meanings of human and war.